Let me just jump in with the biggest wealth killer there is, which is the place that you live. And I'm gonna come at this from a kind of a wide angle perspective because I'm a real estate salesperson. I invest in real estate, I'm a licensed attorney. Now, when I was a real estate salesperson, one of the pitches that you get to help entice and close sales is you gotta tell the buyers that this home that you're buying is the biggest and best investment that you're going to make. Now, when you pitch this home that you live in as an investment, it's easier to get somebody to buy bigger because remember, realtors are on commission, right? And so if I can tell you that this home that you're gonna live in is gonna help build generational wealth, you're gonna help pass it on to your kids and you're investing for the future. I mean, you don't wanna just keep moving out of homes, so buy something a little bit bigger, a little bit nicer, which means more dollars. Now, what you wanna understand about this is the home that you live in is not actually making you any money. And every time I say this, this makes a lot of people angry because people say, well, just please, I bought my home for $435,000. It's worth $585,000 today. What do you mean it's not making me any money? Well, the question is how much money actually went into your pocket? Because the only way you can get that money is if you A, refinance that money out, which means now you gotta pay interest on that and then pay it back. And then number two is you can sell your home but then you no longer have a home. See, the problem with your home is it is a money pit until you come to sell it. And then when it comes time for you to sell it, you have to hope that you can sell it for a profit because there's a chance that you won't be able to sell it for a profit. How do I know that? Because I've purchased a lot of real estate investment properties out of foreclosures because the homeowners couldn't sell them for how much they purchased them for. So the home that you live in is a money pit because you gotta pay for the mortgage costs or the rent costs, you gotta pay for the upkeep, you gotta pay for the maintenance, you gotta pay for the property taxes, you gotta pay for the insurance and everything else related to your home. And so when you get into this whole idea of I'm going to build wealth by paying off of my home, what you got to remember is you're still paying to live in that home. Even if you pay off the home, when you still have to pay property taxes and insurance and the upkeep and the maintenance and the upgrades, all these costs are still yours. If you look at your home more like a liability, where now this home is an expense, your other investments, your stock market investments, your business, your real estate investments, your rental properties, these are your assets you flip the script because now what you can do is instead of spending so much money here on the home that you live in, you can spend less money here and put more money into your real estate rental properties, into buying stocks, into your own business, into your savings, into paying down debt because you're not investing so much money into this place that you live. This place that you live is an expense. And when you treat it like an expense, you're gonna live a little bit smaller, which seems a little bit uncomfortable, but it's the biggest expense for so many Americans. For most Americans, their number one largest expense is their home. So if we think about now, how do we actually help people build wealth? Most people are focusing on the pennies. They're focusing on the Starbucks. They're focusing on the extra guac. They're focusing on the shoes that you buy. When what we could do is flip the script and work from the top down. What are your largest expenses that don't have to be so large? Because guess what? If you can downsize your home, that could be an extra $500 a month an extra $1,000 a month, an extra $2,500 a month, depending on where you live, which you could transfer into your investments that can actually help you build wealth. If you enjoyed this clip and you wanna continue your financial education journey, I have another video that I think you'll love. All you gotta do is click that button right over there. And for those of you who wanna stay up to date on the top finance and business news, you can join Market Briefs, my free financial newsletter, by clicking that button below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.